Hi, thank you for watching Digging to China. I'm Dong Shang. Due to supply shortages, conflicting environmental policies, and a cold weather, China's coal price is surging. As if it isn't bad enough, China's ban on Australian coal imports is intensifying a crisis in its coal market. Beijing was angry over Australian government's call for an independent global inquiry into the origins of COVID-19. It imposed an informal ban around September that forced boatloads of Australian coal to languish at sea. China's central government made embargo official at a mid-December meeting with major Chinese electricity producers who are big buyers of thermal coal. This meeting was convened to solve the supply crunch, which caused the coal price rose 84% since mid-year. China was short of thermal coal, and officials urged companies to import more from anywhere except Australia, China's biggest supplier. To comply, buyers in China have had to pay even higher price from other supplies. From Norwegian salmon to Mongolian commodities, Beijing has in recent years increasingly used China's buying heft to apply political pressure abroad. But the coal market is showing that the strategy can backfire. Even as Chinese buyers obeyed Beijing, Australia's coal prices rallied as other buyers from big coal-consuming nations, including Japan and India, stepped in. To use a polite word to describe it, it is crazy. Prices in China surged over the seven months through January to records of more than $130 a metric ton for high-grade thermal coal. It is nearly twice the mid-year level. Two big state-backed Chinese coal indexes on December 30 said that the market was so chaotic that they could no longer provide such pricing. The government needs to adopt measures to increase coal supply to guide the market back to a reasonable range as soon as possible, the China Electricity Council, which owns one of the indexes, said in a statement. The council resumed its index a week later, but modified it to a weekly rather than its previously daily format. The Coal Association, which also halted its index, hasn't resumed the pricing high grade coal. If the situation is unaddressed, it could have slowed China's manufacturing and risked a public outcry. Beijing's top economic planner last month assured the public that China has enough coal to meet demand. China is the world's largest energy market. It shapes global commodity prices and shipping flows. Coal supplies about 60% of China's energy consumption, more than half of which goes toward electricity generation. As part of a bid for global leadership on climate change, Chinese leader Xi Jinping has sought to curb China's fossil fuel appetite by laying down ambitious climate goals that seek to cap coal consumption and promote alternative energy sources such as wind and solar. But the leadership's environmental policy has run at odds with an economic recovery that has driven up coal demand and a coal industry that includes powerful mining interests. Provincial governments often publicly defend job security at mines. Since 2018, Beijing has maintained quotas that limit coal imports, which further an environmental agenda but also buttress Chinese coal. The government acknowledges the existence of the quota, but doesn't disclose their terms. Coal production hit a peak of almost 4 billion tons in 2013 and fell thereafter due to Mr. Xi's policies, but it began to rebound in 2017 and reached 3.84 billion tons in 2020, global researcher Climate Action Tracker said in a December report. Quote, Worryingly, China remains committed to supporting the coal industry. After lifting a previous construction ban on new coal plants in 2018, China has rolled back policies restricting new coal plant permitting in each of the last three years." Unquote. 
The current shortage stems in part from a sprawling anti-corruption and environmental probe in China's central and northeastern coal mining country. Local governments there warned last year that coal production had sharply declined as the investigation delved into deadly mining accidents. Chinese environmental regulators have publicly criticized coal as an ecological liability. As temperatures dip to the lowest in 40 years in northern China, the coal crunch drove Beijing to global markets. The National Development and Reform Commission abandoned its import quota, but shunned Australia. Australia is known for its abundance of top quality coal. In China, the domestic shortage are sharpest in such grades and in recent weeks traded as high as twice the price of its Australian counterpart, commodity price database show. After the local indexes were halted, some Chinese buyers had to accept prices as high as $139 a ton in domestic transactions, people in the industry say. In a bid to locate alternative sources, Chinese importers have had to venture as far as North America, paying a $100 premium last month for U.S. coal over Australian prices, Commodity Pricing Service Argus said in a report. Li Xue Gong, vice president of the China Coal Transportation and Distribution Network, said the coal shortage was caused by, quote, a string of underestimations of how the market would react to developments, including the broader economic recovery, the corruption probe, production cuts, and import restrictions." Unquote. In January, seven coal-producing companies attended another meeting organized by the government in Beijing, where they vowed to stabilize the market according to state-run Xinhua News Agency. But the plan might take time to work, analysts say. According to Bloomberg, there are now 61 bulk carriers in limbo outside of Chinese ports, waiting to offload their cargoes of coal. Those ships are crewed by some 1,200 sailors, many stranded at sea since October. But there may be a reprieve coming for both those sailors and their cargoes. A person familiar with the situation said China plans to allow some stranded Australian coal shipments to unload despite ongoing curbs on imports. A move aimed at showing goodwill to countries with seafarers stuck on the vessels. The measure doesn't mean China is loosening its ban on Australian coal imports and it's uncertain if the deliveries will be cleared by customs. In the meantime, let us hope the cold winter is over soon. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button right here. I'll see you again shortly.